Over the years, Calanthia grew under my rule. My campaign to unite the South is almost over. As we speak, my son is directing our army against the remaining forces of the Southern Resistance. Once we're done there, we shall take the North. It's filled with all sorts of vile creatures, but also rich in the gold that I need. Only a few barbaric tribes are desperate enough to inhabit these lands. As my steward, you will have one of them at your disposal. The Tribe of the Dawn. Secure the Golden Route before our army arrives. My emissary, Edwin, will watch your progress. Fail me, and you will face a fate much worse than any of the savages you've ever fought before. The Tribe of the Dawn was always a humble community of Dabo worshippers. Their elder, Bogdan, is neither a warrior nor a strategist. When the Calanthians came with their threats and promises, they had no choice but to obey. They agreed to guide them through the Lazatian forests, hoping for peace and survival. We are, Steward. No wonder our King chose you for this mission. You're more than worthy of this disgusting land. Are you sure we're in the right place? Where is that meek old coward who calls himself a leader? Welcome, you? my lord. I am Bogdan, elder of the tribe of the Dawn. I will guide you through the Lasatian woods. But, if I may, where are your warriors? The king's forces will come when the time is right. Until then, we are your new masters. As pledged, my lord. My tribe will follow the orders of the king's steward. They are your people now. I trust you'll take good care of them. We will, if they do their work. Did they find a place to set up a camp? Yes, sir. Our scouts have found a good spot for our first gourd. A nearby pond should provide enough reeds and food to start a small settlement. order our subjects to move, we should follow our scout's footsteps. We are not safe here. Here you can see all of your living subjects with detailed information displayed on their portraits such as profession, health bar, sanity bar, and modifiers. Hello everyone and welcome to Not Your Professional Walkthroughs channel. We're going to be taking a look at Gord Demo, which you can currently access on Steam. Now I have been interested in this game for a while and it seems like it might be released this year. So we're going to see if it's going to turn out to be what I was hoping for or if they're going to take a entirely different direction. So this game is meant to be a city builder slash RTS, uh, resource management, people management. Uh, you're going to have to deal with a lot, including all sorts of creepy crawlies that inhabit these lands that you will have to fight, defend yourself from, and go and do a whole bunch of quests on behalf of your king. So 
we're gonna see if I will be successful or if I will be able to get everyone killed in the demo itself. Chances are I'm gonna be possibly able to do that because these are not your professional walkthroughs. So if you're new here, then make sure to subscribe and hit the notification bell as I publish fun content on a weekly basis. So with that all set, let's select a subject and I don't know, we're gonna try to mark all of these knuckleheads. It seems like we have five of them which means that we might have one blacksmith one i have no idea what this icon is maybe a scout one farmer one guy responsible for making clay and one hunter i guess so okay use to select you can add like a unit to a group and we can even like queue up destinations where they need to go it seems like we have a stormy night and we need to reach a location quite far ahead of us I'm not really sure how dangerous this initial zone is going to be or how well these people can defend themselves. We have some rabbits here. I don't know if there's gonna be bandits too, or bears or some mutated creatures, who knows? Wretched wolves, those are the bodies of our scouts. There isn't much for us to bury, but it seems like one got away. With Dabo's help, he'll find his way back to us. So we have a mini map, and it gives us a top down view of the surrounding terrain with all sorts of interactive objects marked appropriately. By using the filters, you can hide show every category. So it's going to make it a little bit easier for you to manage. I'm not really sure. I'm guessing red is going to be enemy. Blue can be maybe water. This can be all sorts of stuff. So it's going to be interesting to see what are the resources that we're going to require to accumulate in order to have a successful settlement and make sure that the people are safe. Why is only one person carrying a torch? I do not know. Combat. Whoa, that's a bear. Enemies can have multiple attacks, special abilities, and buffs. Some may attack the closest subjects, while others focus on the weakest. Use strategy, subject profession, item, and strength to prevail in battle. So what does that mean? Am I gonna get attacked? What are these? Red herbs. Red herbs and they are used to give us help oh my god it's bears or wolves or something why are they all covered in blood and there's even like a snake okay how much health did who soft uh, lose maybe we can go and make them eat these herbs so that they can regain their health. Maybe we're gonna have like an herbalist who's gonna be responsible for uh, gathering these things and making potions and healing salts. Sir, we've reached the pond our scouts told us about. It is indeed a fine location for a gourd. I'm guessing gourd is the settlement. We have access to water reeds and other resources here but first let's build a palisade these wooden walls will be the main defense of our new settlement okay so this panel shows us the amount of resources wood reed food clay iron gold it also shows the game's three main parameters gourd's growth gourd sanity and Gort's faith, which will be explained later in the campaign. Wood and reed is used to build structures to their initial level. 
Each subject's basic upkeep is food. It prevents them from starving, which is heavily influenced their sanity, which will be introduced later in the campaign. And gold is required by the military professions, which will be introduced later in the campaign. Clay and iron are used for upgrading structures. Okay, so the action menu gives you access to three important menus construction menu population menu and incantation menu uh through the construction menu you can build new structures grouped by categories so population menu provides you with a list of all subjects from whom you can easily group up by your liking the new birth progress bar shows how long you must wait for a new child to be born in your community new birth progress when there is more population capacity than people living in settlement and the incantation menu is used for casting spells but will be introduced later in the campaign so building the progress so we will have structures which can be built within so okay construction menu and place available area then order the subjects to build okay so i guess we need to do this and start off a palisade and whoa okay so it seems like we're gonna be able to even move this gourd around so that we can be even closer to the water here which would theoretically make some of the palisades a little bit more uh closer and it's gonna make it a little trickier but uh probably we can even like expand but that might change how many resources i might require so we can go for like the star shaped uh, designs uh from some of the fortresses in europe or we can go a little bit more crazier so currently we see that it's 169 180 seems as it would be too much and the gate is in a Ooh, we can rotate this so that the gate is not in such a awkward place how do i reset to default okay so resetting to default and i just want to turn it so that the gate is let's say facing this way because there seems to be a lot of resources so we're gonna go for it and we're gonna call it i don't know I really need something better than Noobsville. I feel like that has been already claimed, but these are not your professional walkthroughs, so... Uh-huh. We're gonna call it Max Gord. <laughs> or Maxi Gord. <laughs> so stupid. I need a better name for this. Uh, demo gourd Al almost sounds like demi gorgon or something so let's go demo gourd <laughs> or they can suggest something i'm not really sure what is the suggested name but okay we have few trees within the gourd it seems like everyone is gonna be able to build but uh Probably there's gonna be people who are more proficient. Okay, that was... Good. The Palisade will keep us safe. Now, we need to think of how to make use of the resources we have. Okay. Hold on, old fool. This is just a minor stop on our way to the cartographer. He's waiting for us with instructions on how to reach the gold. I don't want to grow roots in this dump. My, my lord, I promise we will move on as soon as we have fortified our current position. For now, I suggest building a lumber mill, a forager's hut, and a thatchery. <sighs> a lumber mill does sound useful. Fine then, but be quick about it, steward. Okay, so we have our servants for population. And we're gonna need to build few structures. So a lumber mill probably would be best to be built close to the entry 
of the gate because this person is gonna be going outside quite frequently so I don't want to squeeze it like too close but eh, this seems like it will do so we have few trees within I'm not sure if they're gonna keep them I would probably chop down this tree because I would be afraid that someone can use it to climb over and get inside. So now we have professions determine what adults can and can do to switch the subject's profession, order them into relevant structure with an available work slot. If they are gatherer, they will automatically begin gathering. If they are desired, resources is available on the visited part of the map. Okay, so who is our... Is that it? Uh, I'm not sure how do I determine what profession does this person have or if I can like... Gathering lumber. Okay, so do we need to assign more people to that? They are board which i'm not really that thrilled about uh we can make the groups uh play worker hunter iron miner wheat farmer so it seems like it's up to brina to do the damn job and bring us the wood so we're gonna have to wait a little bit and I swear to God, I see a snake crawling around here and nobody's doing anything with it. Can it bite us? Mm -hmm. We can build another structure, advanced military. It's not really letting me do anything else. Let's try to put two more guys to the profession. I'm not sure how much wood do we need. I don't seem to have exactly control over like which tree do they exactly chop down. But okay, that's one quest that is finished. We need to build a thatchery. Thatchery allows thatchers to process water cane into weed. There's lots of stone. I would like to have like a production section, but I'm afraid what would happen if I would put down the structure here. Or even here, like would that destroy our stone deposit if this can actually be mined? Because it did not mention stone, it did mention iron and clay. And for clay, I'm guessing we're gonna need to have some clay pit or something. So that's gonna be interesting. Uh, build this over here, thank you. And the question is how are we gonna like remove a function from someone if they are currently working as this? Auto gathering, dismantle. We have still 188 wood and reeds, and we do have food. I don't know if we're gonna need like multiple variations in order to increase the happiness of the population. Gather and deposit some reed. I think I'm gonna go with the farmer. And Brenna was dedicated as a person to like the lumber mill, so I don't know, we can switch this guy in order to bring us some reeds so we have two people uh, currently chopping down trees uh okay so odelia ran outside there are still the bushes there's plenty of reed around and there's even like mushrooms can be picked up by foragers and processed okay so that's your well, technically not plant-based uh, protein, but uh, you do get protein out of mushrooms. Question is if they are all edible. Because that is kind of an important thing. If you do poison your population 
Well then, tough cookie. We still have one person who is currently unemployed, but we're gonna have to wait for the weed to be returned. So it seems like each deposit can only hold so much weed and resource amount. 25, 27. I do wonder what's like the maximum that they can carry. Maybe 30? They're pushing it over 30, so 31 seems to be the top. So we're gonna get the two stacks of reed. Wow, okay, one person is actually capable of carrying more. Is it because it's a guy and he's stronger? And can carry more stuff around, or what's the cause of it? There's something that has been, like, destroyed, some sort of house. This tree... 93 okay well clearing out all the trees in your surrounding area has one beneficial effect and that's that if there's an enemy approaching they have nowhere to hide so it creates a sort of defense but it also can create a bunch of issues because you are gonna have to keep traveling further and further away in order to bring in the necessary resources. I suppose you people are used to starvation, but I am not. Steward, order these peasants to bring me some food. Sire, if I may, our people had some rations saved, but we will run out soon. We really need to start gathering food. Okay, so... Uh, subjects need to eat. Hungry people lose sanity quickly. Food can be obtained by certain professions through or through trading or found by exploring the level. Okay, interesting. So there's multiple ways in Forger's Hut. If you guys would be actually like uh, good enough to clear out the stupid tree in there. Uh, I could have had like a, a decent spot for it Now we have to cram in the forager's hut What the heck did I just do? Um, over at some other location Okay, so we have one person who's going to be capable of doing this. These two are at least together. So I'm not that afraid that they might be attacked. There's a population of does. So they might be a source of food. We have fish and water. And we have also the mushrooms. So already I'm counting three sources of food. But I'm not sure if our Iron Smith is the best person to be dedicated to the profession of foraging. Okay, so building and upgrading more versatile structures raises your gourd's growth. Reaching a certain level of growth unlocks new types of structures and allows you to house more subjects. The gourd's expansion accelerated. Uh, gather and deposit some food. I guess I don't have a choice right now Although uh, I'm not sure what his profession was at the time but We can switch him to gather hmm? I guess Odelia would be Good at it. I'm not sure why she's standing in the damn water Go drop off the resource, please. Okay, I have no idea what's going on with her. Uh, 
And maybe there's like a glitch. Thank you for providing us with food. Even though starvation won't make us bleed, it will weigh heavily upon our subjects' mental state. If we neglect their sanity, they will flee our rule. Huh. Insubordinance like that should be punishable by death. Feeble minds. Hmm. In Calanthia, we would give our soldiers some wine to calm their nerves before the battle. My lord, we don't have wine here, but we do pride ourselves on making a great drinking mead. Mead, you say? Mm, that doesn't sound too bad. However, the basic comfort of staying within the range of a torchlight helps a lot in our sanity regeneration. Our scouts can provide light to everyone venturing outside of the palisade, but I would recommend to build both a meadery and scout's tower. Yes, yes. But let's start with the meadery, shall we? Okay, sanity level three anxious. New birth, 4%. Next, level 500. The Gord Sanity represents average mental health of all the subjects. Okay. To recover sanity and avoid experiencing mental afflictions, uh, try using yellow herbs or meadery. You can also stand in light or near carving, skill enemies, or receive rewards. Can you, princess, pick up this freaking thing, or is that stomp of wood just preventing you from doing anything? In that case, screw the reed, go fetch me some food, and we're gonna have to make sure that we do have someone who's gonna be capable of, uh, I don't know, uh, meadery. 150 and 100. We do have the necessary resources. I don't know. We can put it over. Here. By the stones. Or we can put it over here. In order to help restore the sanity. This guy keeps forging those mushrooms still. I do wonder if I'll need like a dedicated spot for, uh, let's say, uh, what was I about to say? Uh, dedicated, yeah, they, they cannot pick it up. So it's kind of broken there. I came across bug. He's just gonna be standing there like a total knucklehead. Oh, well, I do require read, that's the problem, but uh, you need to assign a pro person to the Mimbri. Let's assign you, I guess. Torchlight allows you to spot enemies in the eternal darkness. It also prevents your subjects from losing sanity. Make sure they don't stay in the dark for too long. Great, so I'll have to micromanage them. And if I'll have an issue like this, where they are standing there for too damn long, then their sanity is gonna dip down. I'm so thrilled. But I mean, this is still demo. They can still tweak these things, but... Obviously, it does have an effect on the overall experience and what I'm expecting. Um, scout Tower allows subject to assume the scout profession. I don't know if this thing needs to be built within the gourd itself. Seems like it. Let's put it over here. I don't know when or at what point I'll be able to return to like the, let's say, a palisade and try to expand the size of the 
settlement itself. So this point of interest, these are herbs, red herbs, these are people. What is this? A torch, a bonfire, red herbs, red herbs. One person was good at scouting, but I totally forgot who the heck was it, so... I'm sure that's gonna have a positive effect on everything. This guy is already going outside in order to fetch mushrooms. I think we have plenty of the woods, so let's help finish this out. And this guy is still just... Oh, or is it like that he's using the metering in order to restore his sanity and that's it? So hold on, I have to like assign the people to go to the location in order for them to restore the sanity? The confidence of the people surges. So I'm guessing the yellow one represent. This is gonna kill me. How do I delete this resource? Or why is it that you insist on just picking up that one thing? Okay, this is really annoying. So I cannot de delete that resource. I cannot do anything. Uh, he's just gonna be standing there like a total knucklehead, but refusing to do any other task. And I'm not gonna have it, so let's go switch profession. We're gonna be running low on reads, but I feel like um, I'm gonna be absolutely screwed when it comes to resource management if issue like this occurs. Okay, both of their resolve should be okay. Or you know what, try to do this. I don't know how many professions they can perform. I need to like see what are their personal data or right, what are they man. good at. I know that hygiene isn't your best suit, but don't your people ever wash? Stuart and I could use a bath. Uh, uh, yes, of, of course, my lord. Our balia is constructed in a way not only to provide hot water, but also make the best use of our healing herbs to regenerate people's health. Huh. Heard that, Stuart? Order them to build it right away. Okay, uh, health regenerates uh, very slowly over time. If you need them to heal faster, use Balia, uh, Red Herb, Hermit Service, or an Incantation. Well, that's cute, but... Uh, mm -hmm. Okay, maybe the scout can run out and we will be able to find out some stuff. Uh, you should be able to return to read collection, I guess. And I don't know, you should be able to return to forestry. Uh, I'm trying to find anything that might be salvaged by the guy. Maybe there's like an extra person or something. Plenty of deer. We found food. Red herbs. Reeds. It seems like an edge of the map. Let's try to go and send you to explore the other location. I think there was something meant to be over there. There's a small stone fence. So it seems like maybe sometime in the past there used to be a settlement here. Maybe a long time ago. Because there are like houses which are kind of affected. We're gonna have to send out these two guys to replenish their sanity, that's for sure. Is 
there anything? Okay. Whoa. Wild boars. If you don't have spears, you should really not be messing with those. I don't know if I can interact with the stone. Nope. It's interesting that they would actually seek out the fireplace. Maybe there was someone, but they got chased off by the boars. You really don't want to mess with an adult boar. That thing can kill you. Uh, send you to... Kind of hard to identify the sex of the person if they don't have like a mustache or something. But okay. So we found there are animals. And of course, this is just gonna drive me nuts. I, I don't know. Do I need to decommission the reed structure? Where's like a demolish function? Because I will not be capable of providing additional reed to my people. Our sisters are enjoying their quality of life. If this keeps going on. So their sanity is going up. This is gonna be I'm guessing a large portion of the game where you will have to micromanage the sanity of the population. We are running completely out of read, which is not making me happy. But one bug is preventing me from actually doing anything. So I, I don't know if I would have to restart the entire scenario because of this. Uh, let me know if you're going to pick up the demo. I'll leave a link in the video's description to the Steam page so you can go and check it out. If you would come across some bug. Because demos should usually be uh, functional in order to like make sure that the people who are interested in the game are not going to have a shitty experience. Okay, you two are done drinking. I don't know, go fetch me stuff and, uh... Seriously, how do I decommission the structure? Because I cannot build jack squad. That's what's driving me nuts. Board is holding steadily. I need to get reeds, but if both of them are just gonna stand here, hmm? can you please pick it up? Oh, come on! You know how freaking stupid this is? You have to assign the person what about to we go pay? Familiar tracks. We should search this area of the forest. Maybe, with Dabo's help, we'll find the scout who fled from the wolves. So we need to send out a scout. We're about to finish the first scenario of the campaign mode. Once the last main objective uh, marked by the challenge of a given scenario is complete, you will automatically transition to another scenario. Thank God, because we are kind of screwed here with this whole read BS. Awkward! Hey buddy, uh, you are still a scout, so let's scout out this. I guess I can set up even like a, a road through which he should go. Should be. I swear to God, this needs to be fixed.
kill one legendary wolf. I don't think I should be doing that alone. Try to retreat back. We have to... Fellows who can potentially help you out. Our brother needs help. Uh, th this is just not gonna be solved, so... I don't know what to tell you here. These are ladies, so I would probably dedicate them to food, and you can go to be a second scout and... Uh, I don't know, how the heck would I switch a profession? He's not gonna be able to do that task, so you can go and do this task. Is he able to do that task or not? Okay, this is just now officially pissing me off and he picked up that tree and it's still sitting over there. So that's kind of funky. Can you in interrupt the animation? No, he cannot. He's, he's making wood. I don't think that only two people would be enough, so I rather take at least three of these fellas. And if I can separate the ancient wolf or the alpha wolf from the rest of them, we might stand slightly better chance of killing them. So you cannot really tell me that the wolves are... Whoa. Those are some brutal attacks. That's a lot of wolves. I don't think... Oh wow, we cannot even like salvage the wolves for pelts or nothing. Meat. Nothing. No, really. And... I have never heard of wolves being able to put people into a cage, but okay. What is he blabbering on about? I can't understand a word. He claims he was attacked by the wild folk. People of the forest, but they have never attacked us before, unless they were provoked. Clearly, they had a change of heart. He says they're walking towards the Votenga River, west of here. I fear that they may raid our gourd. Uh, our cartographer was supposed to be west of here as well. We cannot lose him. Let's move. No. Okay, so we're gonna proceed and uh, see what's gonna wait for us. Hopefully I'm gonna have a gourd which will not have issue with reeds or food or something else. Uh, you led the first steps to our people in the hostile forest, you built a prosperous gourd and rescued our man trapped by savages. Now we need to repel the incoming wild folk raid. Do you want to continue playing? Yes. The wild folk used to live like wild animals, and although they can be violent, conquest was one of the many human things they despised. Nonetheless, they became more aggressive recently and attacked the tribe of the Dawn's Gourd. I wonder if they are doing this to praise Velus.
Okay, before the start of every scenario, you will get the chance to know each of the subjects' bios, strengths, weaknesses, experience levels, items. Once you get a sense of who you'll get to manage, it's best to provide each member of your team with a unique name. Okay, so... Uh, health, sanity, faith, strength, martial arts, fierce pole laws. I have no idea what's pole laws. Uh, we have this guy. Health. A uh, player for exploring. Can I change his profession or something? Does not have like an item slot. Cutting experience, mining experience, fighting experience, food production, exploring, trading. So each pe each person can accumulate experience based on what they do. Trading experience disabled. Okay. They will not be a merchant. A lot of my guys have experience cutting trees. Fighting experience, that's awesome, but unable to explore. Flare for fighting. Uh, then we have our ladies. So, loves winter. Boiling blood. Mining experience, no. Fighting experience, okay. So she can explore and stuff. She can become even a traitor. Interesting. Uh, so we have gained some experience. I don't know. What about this guy? Can I, like, excellent torch? So, so what, do I, like, add him or... So confused. Alfred cannot do mining. Slow recovery. Work driven. Big spender. That's probably not good to assign him to be a merchant then. But he has a trading experience. So how ironic is that? My lord, the wild folk, they've attacked our gourd. Hurry now. Or there will be nothing left of our home. Enemy at the gates! Enemy has breached the defense. If Palisade section gets destroyed or if an enemy gets inside, the gourd is considered breached. While this lasts, your subjects will focus on fighting enemies and won't be able to use any of the structures. Okay. Technically, we're ambushing them from behind. Holy fudge, that's a lot of guys. Have to be careful here. Try to rotate my people. Dear God, so much destruction. Those savages dared to destroy our king's property? Sire, this is unusual. The wild folk are not our allies, but they were never desperate enough to raid a fortified gourd. Something's changed. That doesn't matter, you old fool. They will pay for their insolence. Of course, sire. But now we need to focus on salvaging whatever's left of our structures. We can repair the damage and clean up the rubble reuse whatever we can okay so structures can be damaged or destroyed during battle but enough resources subjects can repair them or clean up the rubble yeah does not seem like we are going to be able to do much so how do mm. i rebuild mm -mm. no mm -mm. We need to fix probably the fortification first. Hmm. Okay. Let's try to send out people. Hmm? To fix the structure. So we have six people. Hmm. Which means two people for each. Repair Thatchery, repair Forager's Hut, repair Scout Sour, clean up the rubble. Rubble's in the middle. I'm gonna probably focus on this rubble first. We have Forester's Hut, 
battery and this seems to be what a house no that's the forger okay you go clean up So, I don't know. Can you start gathering resources? You fellas start focusing on the rubble in the middle, whatever that was. Our defenses are up, but we should equip our subjects with proper weapons to better prepare for what awaits us outside of our walls. Let us build our first military structure. Ooh. Military pause. Professions can be split into non-military and military profession. Military profession deals higher damage and features higher maximum health, better armor. However, they require additional payment in gold. Providing them with much payment with such payment prevents their sanity from deteriorating. Interesting. Build an axe pit. Military. Axe bit and archery range. So we have uh, people going for food. We're gonna have to send out more wood as well. Food, I want to make sure that I have uh, an influx of because that's kind of important. And we're gonna have to start sending out people for factory and stuff, so... Uh... Hopefully there won't be the same issue which I just had, because that would be kind of annoying. That's good enough. Let's search for the cartographer. He was supposed to lay out the best route for the gold transportation. Especially across that damn river. My people have seen this Calanthian a couple of times. Supposedly, he has surrounded himself with traps. Be cautious when you approach his hut. So I need to have a scout. Or set the task. Uh, the thing is, I keep forgetting who is the best person for this. Or how to check this. Because it kind of does not show over here. How do I check who is uh, uh, best at what? Well, you're gonna have to do for now, I guess, buddy. There are some herbs. So we have this guy who's our military unit. Okay, there's some book or something. Okay, interesting. Is that a merchant? Serene has been recovered. Uh, teaching cost. Uh, exploring experience. Oh, I didn't see you there, young Link. Do you also feel the urge to explore and study everything around you? No? Well, still. If you wish to learn something new, I'm sure I can teach you anything you need. For the right price, of course. I would have to give him... Gold. Let's, let's do it. I don't know if there is a menu or key that will allow me to access the... Okay, so R seems to do this. We have uh, Gawen, male, adult, scout, idol, fair for exploring... Okay, so this is the right person for this job then. And I'm trying to be careful because I don't know if there's like landmine or what is he using. There seems to be a prison with someone inside. Could have been a bandit, could have been a raider, could have been someone who got lost. The more population you have, the more things you can perform. But also, you will have certain things to 
think about. Wow, these guys have like a boar head. Or boar skull on their head. But there is a prisoner. One one person versus this many wolves. I have to be careful. Let's send out the guy with the axe. This guy is gonna have to pick Our up some red birds. Try to run. Go after them. Okay, the axe is definitely kicking some proper ass. Oh, we can try to even mess with those guys. Yeah. So, whose health has been reduced more? Pick up the red herb in order to recover. We're gonna try to go four versus two. I don't like those odds mm -hmm. too much. Whoa. This is gonna require more attempts. There are some red herbs. Let's interact with the consumables. Spread them out. Separate their forces. And do something good. And I just received another soldier. Nice. I really need a red herb, however, in order to cure this guy. The scout has sustained quite the damage. And that is something which I'm not fond of. So let him return. Fetch that. One person for read. We do have the food being still accumulated. There seems to be plenty of, of it, which is great. These two knuckleheads can, in the meantime, try to approach. Oh, oh, oh. Oh. Keep your people in line. Why did he flee? The poor soul already suffered so much. Seeing a body mutilated in such a vicious manner, you would think that living here made us indifferent to such views. But it always takes a toll. Your barbarian minds are weak. And this corpse belongs to yet another of your scouts? N no. Sire. Judging from the robe, I believe this is the cartographer you were searching for. Cursed lands! Ah! Forget him! We need his maps! Search the hut! Search this cage! Search everything! If the subject's health drops to zero, they will experience physical affliction that can be healed by a hermit. If the subject's sanity drops to zero, they will experience mental affliction that can be healed by a witch. Okay. Sire, we have found the cartographer's notes in his hut. Does it say where to cross the river? I believe it does, my lord. But the marked route requires crossing the nearby swamps. It's a very difficult and dangerous area. You dare to question the expertise of a royal cartographer? If he marked it, that's where we're going. Follow the plan, steward. We've wasted enough time. Okay, so... Do we search the house, or has that been, like, already accomplished? 
so that's all okay. We have the scout, there are the yellow herbs. Axpet archery range for that, we would require more people to take on the profession that is not military. Is there anyone else in here? No, there's just resources and everything. This tree almost looks like a person, one hand reaching out. Kind of funny. Uh, so we were able to liberate that one soldier. Uh, should we reach the inside? Why are you not chopping down trees, man? We have a bottleneck of wood. I think this is still that one guy who was willing to teach us stuff for gold, but because now I need gold in order to pay the two military people. I cannot keep spending it. It would be most unwise. Mm -hmm. There seems to be some animal. There seems to be multiple wolves. A small variety. But it's still a pack of wolves. Oh damn, that was brutal. Kind of funny how the animation did kick in that she's being like... Pushed to the ground by the beast and... Uh, immediately after it was dead. You can eat these in order to restore your sanity. Wow, that restores a lot of sanity. Okay, probably going alone through here would be definitely a bad idea. How do I reach that marked location, though? Okay, careful, because I heard some weird grumbling or whatever that noise was. Uh, maybe we can try through the north. There are boars, and there seems to be a corpse of some sorts. It seems like it's almost gonna be able to be accessed through here. So let them return to the gourd. And then we can try to go... I'm just not sure how the boars are gonna... Mm -hmm be much more effective or deadlier when it comes to this hopeful sanity is good uh growth of the settlement is nice basic structures we don't have advanced structures military structures we have one special structures we don't have carvings burial ground additional gate carving spider carving wolf carving i don't know we can put down one over here let it be built. Archery range we don't have. Advanced Balia. We need a whole lot more wood. We have one person dedicated to trees. I don't know if trees are like continuously used for let's say keeping the fires going or what's the process. Mm -hmm. But okay, now we should have the sanity slightly more increased. So I guess we can run down over here. What is that? The gods have blessed us with a child. Okay, we're gonna accept the name. I'm terrible with names in general. So question is if she can actually perform a task. But they may assist working adults, which allows them to gain experience. Okay. Our brothers are enjoying their quality of life. I'm gonna try to get the girl to do forestry. Perhaps. Okay, I have to be careful about those. There seems to be something with this weird stone. 
as if some fireflies were circling around. I think there's something else. Could it be a spider? I'm not really sure what the heck did I hear, but I did not like it. Lots of wild animals in here. Kind of weird to see boars next to wolves. Okay, come on, guys. Wolf, some corpses. Ah, uh, not good. Uh, items. Items can be found in many places. Chest skeletons, loose stones. One subject can carry up to three items. They can be extremely useful in combination with subject strengths and experience levels. How do I check their inventory? I know that I can go into like here. Structures, sanity, resources. Okay. Uh, I guess I'm more going the right way. Just purely based on the fact that I keep coming across enemies. Seems to be something in here. That affected my sanity in a negative way. found the witch little chaotic more of them incantations whispers can use both uh, powerful spells called incantations which vary in nature each uses divine power and triggers a cooldown Structure. This one is mine. We'll get you for this. God damn. You saved me. Those savages got what they deserved. They attacked our gourd and killed our people. But you, you are not from around here. I am not. I've been a traveler since my village got destroyed. People call me Lynx. I am Edwin, an admissary of King Isidore II of Calanthia. It seems we share common enemies. What was that? thing you just did to these savages. Forest tricks. You pick them up if you live here long enough. But how come savages are a concern to such fine lords as you? And who are you, old man? I am Bogdan, elder of the tribe of the Dawn, humble servants of Dabo. Dabo? The defeated god of the sun. Watch your tongue, witch. I've lived long enough to recognize forbidden magic when I see it. Helping you is a mistake. Hold on, old man. 
Undeniably, our new friend has some skills and a grudge against our enemy. I would suggest we join forces and welcome her into our settlement. I wouldn't mind a hot bath. We don't have it yet. But, sir. You yourself keep reminding us how dangerous these lands are. Well, we could use every pair of hands, especially hands as skilled as these, to deal with those threats until the Calanthian troops arrive, couldn't we? Uh, yes, sire. Very well, then. Let us carry on through those swamps and across the river. There is supposed to be a very nice settlement there. Are you sure you need to go that way? Of course we're sure, woman. We're following the map drawn by the royal cartographer. What is the matter? Well, I think I already got rid of most of the filth on the way here. But beasts, monsters, and wild folk living in those swamps drained my powers almost completely. Beasts and monsters and... Ooh. Building a temple and assigning somebody to pray in it would help me recover much faster. And believe me, you will find my powers useful in those swamps ahead. <clears throat> yes. I believe that we all agree that safety of us, our subjects, is of utmost importance. Let's build this temple of yours first. No one is to enter the swamps before that. May the gods protect us. I can take care of that, Elder. You just have some faith. So faith allows you to use incantations. The quickest way to gain faith is to order your subjects to pray at the temple. I guess mm -hmm. we have to send out our party back all the way. To this location. Mm -hmm. Reassign them. Mm -hmm. Whoa. There's some big ass spiders. And they spit something. <gasps> Fighting experience gained. Sanity is going down. Spiders are everywhere. Mm -hmm. We probably wise to retreat back home. Do we need to fight the boars? I don't think so. I think we just found a way back home. And it would be nice if they can go and recover. So our kid is fetching food and helping out. And we have the necessary stuff now. I don't know if I need Balia or what do I need the temple. Wow, temple is massive. Let's put it into the center. I feel like assigning one more person to wood production would be beneficial. The thing is, I don't see that person who they ran into that witch in our roster. Still have plenty of empty space in the village. Assign the subject to the temple. Hmm? What, what just happened? I, I pressed just like A to move the camera, but I missed out some text. Mm. Damn it. That's not good. Reach the river crossing now. Do I still need to have the scout assigned to that or we no longer need to do so? 
question is if the forger is only capable of forging what do i need to do in order to do some fishing probably fisherman's hut right fishing shack we are well supplied with the uh, food in general faith we have very little of it battle cry sight he's the stuff requires like 200 points of faith and i have not that much of it sap is 300 it's gonna take a while to accumulate this damn stuff so maybe one more person can pray a little bit longer I want to have at least one scout because that torch is meant to work as something that helps out with the sanity. The three guys seem to do quite a lot of good. But I'm starting to notice that we really need to do something in order to deal with the uh, sanity here. So one me three. Delia, Zlatina, they both have like reduced sanity stats, so I'm not really sure if the kids here can drink or if they have to wait until 21. <laughs> Apparently we have four. That might explain why, explain why it rains so much, but who knows? Who knows? We're definitely gonna have to switch out the, the way we harvest food. If I would be eating constantly just mushrooms, I would probably be upset. But my sanity would go to crap. Because I don't like mushrooms, and some of them even make me sick, so I just generally don't eat mushroom meals. Uh, question. Can the kid actually pray? I'm not sure. I don't think so. So let's try to get back. Hmm? There's some animal over there. Hmm? Let's see what's in here. What is nice? I don't have a choice here. They charged at me already. Okay, so how exactly do I get where I need to get? There's that shrine. Seems to be a cage of some sort. Some animal. Let's bore again. There's some temple or shrine too. Trying to find a way to that damn location. <gasps> Definitely saw enemies in here. Seems like it's spiders. And then there's some traveling person. Am 
mining experience. Unfortunately, we're not really mining anything, so... How the hell do I get... I think I have to run back to that location. In order to access the other side of the riverbank. Uh... So we see that there's some speed at which they are able to clear out these. Okay, why can I take the bag? Whoa, what the hell is that thing? I do wonder what's going to be like the maximum population which you can have of a gourd. Because... Uh... I don't know how exactly does it work with the payments for the gold. Right now, we're not really doing anything with that. I did see those enemies ahead, so... Lots of things can come our way. We're able to pick up some gold. This is a terrible place. I'm not sure what the green herbs are used for. You need to recover your sanity and you need to do the same thing. Whoa. What are these things? Small what? Razor? Starting to look like Witcher or something. Whoa, these are some really nasty things. We're taking actually quite a lot of damage here. Definitely gonna have to heal these fellas up. Mm -hmm. Yeah, you need to heal up. Mm -hmm. Crap, traps. Leather armor. How do I exchange these items? Incantation free, sight haste, focus haste, battle cry, sap. Do I unlock it here, or do I cast it here? I cannot exit this menu, so that's weird. Uh, mm -hmm. One of them picked up... Uh, lore, creature, combat, control, management, resource. How do I pick up or interact with these things? So... The leather armor... Can I switch it or give it to... Okay, and how the hell did I just do that? Seems I haven't just figured it out. Did I get like a new kid or what was that notification? Okay, you two should be now happy and should be able to return to your task. And Brenna needs to really, like, uh, chill out by the mead station. You can go and chill out as well. I just hope that that reed over there will not bite me again. Somehow. Mm -hmm. Our scout needs to heal up. <laughs> uh, that's quite a nasty attack there.
Hmm? Your sanity seems to be good. I... What the shit was that noise? Whoa, what the hell? There's no chance these three are going to be able to take this down. Right? The hell is even that? That's some big ass boss battle. A lot of them. <laughs> they seem to only charge at the military units. Go heal up. I said go heal up. Stop pissing me off. Yeah. Hmm. Heal up. I don't know what the green herb does. Poison. Interesting. More red herbs, possibly? I don't think we can defeat this thing with the force I brought in here. I don't know how to reach this thing. To be honest with you in the first place. Uh, Where's this Brenna? Why is she not doing stuff to deal with her sanity stuff. Morbin's gonna have to do the same. You can go continue your task over there. Oh, we are maxed out on the reeds as is, huh? So I guess building the Balia would not be the worst thing ever. Is that horn? How did I reach that destination? Do I really want to reach that destination? If I would find one more person in these woods, I would be probably thrilled. Fight these guys? <laughs> probably too late to cast a spell. Okay, there seems to be some more stuff. It's kind of tricky to select one person if they're like this. Not exactly working well. Okay, what now? what's ahead of us a river crossing yes which is also a horror's lair it's known as Arduin and it won't let you pass without a sacrifice sacrifice we will wipe this monster from the face of the earth killing a horror is not an easy task sire no one has attempted such a feat in years. We would need a great deal of experienced warriors to have a fighting chance. It's much more than a monster. It's a sentient demon, conjured from the most vile souls that Velus could stitch together in the underworld. My magic has no effect on it. If you don't want to die, just comply with whatever it asks you for. Or try a different path. 
I don't want to hear about a different route. We'll follow the plan and give this creature whatever it desires, or kill it for all I care. It's the steward's decision. I honestly would prefer to go a different route. Horrors are powerful magical creatures guarding wild lands. Eventually, every tribe has to either face a horror or horror's plague or satisfy their demands. Fighting them is extremely difficult. The river one is going to be probably tricky to deal with. So, meeting the horror, our David. Even Link's warrior did not prepare for what you seem emerging from the bog. Rotten, deformed monstrosity with grimacing face and mocks humanity. He slowly rises his blistered hand and points at you. Feed me. A gurgling voice erupts in your mind. Feed me, young flesh. Sacrifice a child to our demon. Uh, attack, decline, this, uh, decide later. If I give him a freaking child, that makes me even worse than the horror itself. Does it mean that every damn time we're gonna have to give them a kid? What what sort of like moral effect will that have on the sanity of the entire population? I'm, I'm gonna avoid their plague and I'm gonna give them the kid, but uh. Like, logic dictates to find, obviously, a different route. So, how does this work? We have this kid. The gods have blessed us with a child. So... I'm sending the kid into the woods. I'm sure that's gonna be perfectly fine. I'm not really sure how do I sacrifice the children. Maybe it needs to reach that location? doing quite well running through the woods run for us run I'm not gonna give them that one uh, one child has even like reached full maturity oh shit Gods. Who could have done this? Uh, so many lives lost. What is that? I don't understand it either, but we should leave immediately. 
He may return at any time. I agree with the witch, sire. Let's hide in the woods and plan our next move carefully. And that's gonna be it for the Gord demo. So, quite interesting game. It's uh, gonna be an interesting experience. I think uh, the launch is in August or wherever. Like I said, I'm gonna leave the link in the video's description for you so that you can go check it out. And you can potentially try the demo for yourself, see if you would have the same issues or not. See if you would sacrifice the child or if you would try to battle the horror and lose even more people. It's totally up to you. And with that all said, I'm going to wish you a pleasant rest of the day and hopefully I will see you all in the comments or at the next one. Thank you all for watching. Stay safe out there in the meantime and bye bye for now, everyone.